In an article published in the New Scientist magazine in 1986, Hubert and Stuart Dreyfus declared that AI's record of barefaced public deception is unparalleled in the annals of academic studies. Moreover, in What Computer Can Do, 1972, and Mind Over Machine, 1986, Hubert Dreyfus charged AI researchers with failing in their professional duty to make clear the actual limits of their understanding and of the results they have so far achieved. Do you think these criticisms were accurate? One thing I find quite shocking, really, um, is the, the fact, first of all, that in the, the 1960s particularly, and perhaps to a lesser extent in the 70s, a lot of claims were made with regard to artificial intelligence, what it was going to do, how intelligent it was going to be, and so on. And then subsequently, when a lot of these claims were not fulfilled, uh, a lot of the projects were not delivered on, so there was a bit of a backlash in the New Scientist. There was a, an article picked up by Ruslick, I think, um, looking at just should these claims have been made. It was a, a terrible thing that such claims had been made. They were no, nothing like what had happened and so on. And Dreyfus wrote a number of articles on what machines cannot do. I find it quite startling, really. Um, the artificial intelligence of the 1960s, particularly, Marvin Minsky-driven, a lot of it, was looking more at getting machines to copy how humans do things. And Marvin would say that uh, the approach taken was perhaps not that appropriate. In you know, We should have been studying much, much more how the human brain works rather than producing more industrially related expert systems and so on. But nevertheless, expert systems were produced that did some limited copying of the human brain from an external point of view. But yeah, in hindsight, we can say it was never going to get anything like towards the human brain. We know now, looking at what artificial intelligence is about, that that is one aspect. It's uh, the classical AI of Minsky and his cohorts is one relatively small aspect of what artificial intelligence is all about. We're really looking in the field in general at machines in terms of how they are intelligent. And copying human intelligence is just one possibility. Machines can copy the intelligence of an ant. Machines can copy the intelligence of lots of other creatures. But machines can be very much intelligent in their own way. And in this sense, I think far from being... Um, if you like, over-exaggerating what artificial intelligence can do, quite the converse. Um, even now, we, we have a lot of statements saying, yes, but machines are not so intelligent. I will give a, a, a Mark Tilden quote here. Um, yeah, machines can't even make a cup of tea. So how intelligent is that? Um, I, I will quote from Paul Verbos who is in the National Science Foundation in the US of A and funds a lot of the research and says human intelligence is on top of the mountain, mouse intelligence is some way up the mountain, and what we're trying to do now is to fund artificial intelligence to get up to the level of mouse intelligence. Oh my God, how can anybody say such things Artificial intelligence, machine intelligence, is a very different form of intelligence. Didn't people spot that yet? Is that missing? We don't need to climb a mountain with AI. We can fly. We can look at all sorts of different types of intelligence. We know that AI has the power of being much, much faster in terms of decision-making, processing, etc., we know that AI has phenomenal memory capabilities in comparison with human and animal intelligence. We know, big advantage, big advantage, AI can use many, many more dimensions. So in terms of creativity, human intelligence is not in the same league. And of course, in terms of communication, 
again, human communication is absolutely pathetic in comparison with artificial intelligence ability to communicate. We cannot forget these points. Already AI far surpasses human intelligence in many, many aspects. That These aspects get downplayed because AI can't make a cup of tea yet, which is of no relevance whatsoever. If we have a military weapon system coming towards us that is going to blow the hell out of us, me saying, ha ha ha, you can't kill me because you can't make a cup of tea, it's not going to stop and say, oh, damn, we forgot about that. Making a cup of tea is vitally important if we're going to rule the world or whatever. Sod tea. Tea is not real. Tea is not going to save the world. And whether we can make a cup of tea or not is not the be all and end all. So I think in some ways, yes, exaggerations were made in the 1960s that AI was going to be able to copy human intelligence in the space of 10 years or so on. But also, we must not look back and say, AI is just a load of rubbish, it's nowhere near, because already it is far, far better than human intelligence in lots of different aspects that we know about, that we use computers for. We must look at it realistically as being a different form of intelligence with lots of advantages and with some disadvantages.